G'day everyone, Fox Blockhead back with you again for another episode of The Spatials. Uh, we are here on this planet here, uh, Lidif Lidifkov, which is a level 8 planet, and I thought I was really clever by building a little bridge out to this little island. Turns out, I need to build another one. <laughs> oh, no, back to the planet. Uh, to, no, 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 move here, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Well, now I've got a thing in the middle of nowhere. Uh, turns out they can actually get to the other side of this by walking all the way around. So I have to do one at a time. No, 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 no. You go this way. No, you go this way. No, this way. Do it from here. Do it from here. You can do it. I thought I was... Yay, there we go. I thought I was really clever then. But, uh... Turns out I was just normal clever. Oh my goodness, these guys are ridiculously hard to kill. Oh, it's because he's the boss. Wowza! Those guys are nuts to kill. Nope, nope, away, 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 away. I've got two in stasis now, that's no good. I've got to wait 30 seconds to get them back. I'll do some damage while I'm waiting. Nope, turns out I cannot. And I've just lost. All I've got is my medic left. My medic Frasier. All officers are in stasis. I better leave. Well, that's the first planet that I've actually come up against that's been really quite difficult. Well, there you go. So it's not just as simple as walking up to a planet and and just uh, clicking your button. You've actually got to have some sort of strategy. I do love that weapon, though. That weapon is the best weapon. That, uh, is it a Blorb Roaster? What is it? I can't see it from here. Okay, so this is where I get up to. <laughs> and I think I tried to come in. Oh, no. I think I tried to come in, uh, right in the middle of their everything. Do you need better meds, Frasier? No, I think this is... That's where I tried to build the, uh, the bridge before. So let's see if we come around this way. Oh, didn't need that one. Let's see if we come around this way. We have a better strategy of it all. Let's make sure they got the energy. Now I did recently boost my SGA stats. Used all those things from last episode. Oh, and you know what? I think I forgot to tell you. We're actually up to episode 10. Which means that by the end of this episode... I get to reveal a new quality quintet. Wowza! They have lots of health. Let's get, let's get some stuff back. Wow, that's two out of seven. These guys are very difficult. Okay, you come to me. Different strategy. Okay, good. I'm going to wait eight seconds and we can do it again. There's always a strategy with these things. Get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. <laughs> Let's draw them out. Okay, here we go. Draw them out. Okay, good stuff. So, eliminate the 15 more pests. Hopefully these guys are easier pests. What do we collect? Oh, I've got a level 8 one of those. Can I equip that now? No, I can't. That's okay. Fill up our bits and bobs. Collect our things and pieces. Whoa. 
I don't like using all my energy. Yeah, these guys are a little bit easier. A little bit easier than the bosses. Oh, but still tough. Oh, yes, good. I'll wait until we've got a bunch of them. Uh oh, they're coming over the top. They're coming over the top. Quick run. Blorb roast them. Good, good, good. Got no energy left. Skull's in cooldown. We can't have cooldown. Oh, we need green. Who's green? Samantha Carter. We need Carter to get her energy back. Because she has the weapon of all weapons against these guys. Takes them out. Oh, and I just used it on the native things. Okay, now we've got a matriarch. Ah! Run away from the matriarch. I think I just missed him. Okay, is there another matriarch? No, mission complete. Very good, and we survived. Fantastic work, SG-1. Wow, that is a difficult mission. Let's see if there's any goodies over here. Nope, no goodies. Let's head back to base. Oh, okay, so this system is almost done. Oh, we've got some recruits. Let's get all of those. So we've got 9,000. 9,000... Let's see what we've got down here to buy. Eight science points. We can get that one. We can get that one. We can get that one. What should we get? Let's get this one because it's the furthest up. We'll unlock the bistro. We'll go home. I guess I had to recycle some things earlier. That's fine. And uh, what did we get? A bistro down here. Let's have a look. Bistro. What have we got? We've got crude. Crudities. Okay. A fine serving table. A divisor. <laughs> and a small table. Decorative, decorative. Okay, well, uh, let's let's build this. Where should we build this, guys? Um, maybe over near the new sleeping quarters. Let's make it... Let's make it a decent size. We do need a corridor to get there. Um... It's probably not going to be the best spot for it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we can get some people... Oh, spaceship's just arrived or left? Probably just left. Uh, oh. Did I... Oh, I can't build it there. That's fine. That's fine. So we've got some people working on that over there. Uh, and while they are doing their thing, we've got lots of level 8 bits and bobs. We've got another spaceship arriving that keeps our money cranking through. Good stuff. I think we should change to our next quality quintet. We'll go for the boss planet with our brand new team. And the team, and I haven't done this on camera before because I've actually labelled these guys earlier on. Uh, we've got SG-1, we've got SGA, and now we have V, Keith, from the Voltron Force, Pidge, Hunk, Shiro, and Lance. Now these five are actually the recent Voltron Force. Uh, Netflix actually had a series of Voltron Force, and uh, and this was the this was the crew. We've got Keith, who's kind of the uh, the the leader of the the other four. Shiro, he was the guy that um, uh, was pilots the Black Lion. He's kind of the leader of of everyone, but he was he's an older person compared to these guys. I think slightly older. We've got Lance. Uh, sorry, Keith. I think's the hothead. He's the Red Lion. Lance is the Blue Lion pilot. We have Hunk, who's the uh, He's the mechanical kind of whiz. He's the yellow lion pi pilot. And then Pidge. Pidge is the little tinkerer. Pirate activity seems to be increasing in this sector. A settlement has contacted us to deal with some pirate camps. So I wonder, is this going to be similar to the last time we encountered pirates? Where they said... Oh no, here we go. Uh, we were minding our own business, planting this, building that. Then those guys landed nearby and started demanding some sort of tribute. It's impossible to argue with them when they just shoot on sight. <laughs> Which is kind of what I just did. Ah, don't worry. We can speak their language pretty well. 
Be careful. Some appeared to be kind of tough. Oh, so we have tough pirates to take on. Unfortunately, we can't form Voltron. We do not have mechanical lions, but I did make sure Pidge had a mini servo. Mini servo motor. So he's got a little, a little dude that he can um, get to help him. A little, um, a little machine. There's some pirates. Do I need to talk to them or do I need to take them out? Let's have a look. Let's get now. Servo. Yes, we speak their language. The language of get lost. That's right. That language of uh, yeah, don't don't mess with our people. That's right. That's right. Oh no, I don't want it. Oh. Okay, looks like we're doing that one then. Let's get some bits and bobs. Whoa, no, 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 no. We need to scoot. So with the other uh, quality quintets, what I tried to do was I tried to make them uh, so that they were the right um, part of the team. Does that make sense? So that they were the right job description. Uh, whereas the Voltron Force, I've tried to make the right colour. So they might not necessarily be uh, the right job, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, Pidge has got, got the health issues. Uh, we make it look too easy. Yes, we do. Oh, is that it? Is that it? We leave the planet. We took out the pirates. We're done. See you later. Hey, system Pera has been unlocked now. Ah, oh, we still don't get nitrogen. We need the nitrogen. Okay, so we got level nine. Hang on, let's. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, let's have a quick look for recruits. We have level six. Oh yes, one, two, three. Let's grab all of those. So we need all the recruits we can get. We've got lots and lots of recruits. We need nitrogen. We need fibers. Now, one of the ways that we can do that, I think, is to do some of these missions. And this is how I've been leveling up our guys uh, between episodes. Is just choosing um, a mission that kind of kind of suits them. Choosing the worst officers still have a hundred percent chance of success, and then just sending them off. Um, well, that one's only got 63.95, so trying not to level up my my best guys, um, but it's cool. Like this little this little tab here, we've got diplomatic abundance. So if you choose your best officers, if they're all diplomats, you've got a better chance of success. So a bonus chance when picking diplomats. Now it looks like 54% is not that good. Um, let's choose another one. Ah, here we go. Diplomatic abundance. So if we choose the worst officers, not diplomats, we get 97%. But uh, we'll give that a go, 97%. And uh, if you choose, here we go, we can get bonus, um, bonus loot and bonus bits and bobs. And I'll try and go for 100% if I can. Um, but I think this might be where nitrogen pops up. Um, but if I go for, see, like a level 8, like Taylor, going on a level 1 mission, oh, that's not going to do much for her, so... So I try not to choose those kinds of guys. And it does cost, look, it's $350 to complete the contract, or 350 credits, or whatever. But it's... Yeah, okay, so that's a level 6 mission. Ah, there we go, so if we get those three guys, 99%, they get extra XP for completing that. So it just levels them up. It means that they're doing a little bit better. We'll send our guys off to do those. Oh, I don't have enough officers. So now all I should have on my space station are the, the visitors, the base five, the, the quality quintet of Voltron, and um, visitors and one or two others. So I've got a bunch of those. Um, what do we got? Crudite. What's a crudite? put you there, and a fine serving table, you can go in the middle, a divider and a small table. So I wonder what these guys need, we'll get those up, and then I think that must be it for our episode. So that's our new quality quintet, is Voltron, uh, so the, for the next few episodes we'll be talk, talking Voltron and Voltron Force, uh, we've still got a bit of this asteroid that we can be exploring and expanding into, so we might have to have a, a whole episode 
of uh, doing everything. Do I have everyone off on a mission? No, Elizabeth Weir's there. Janet Fraser's there. So we got two, and I think the guys that uh, the Voltron Force they must be um, the Voltron Force they must be um, uh, in a ship ready to go. So what are you doing? Pidge. Oh no, Pidge is there. Why don't you come and build this? Have I made it so that... No, allowed. Allowed. And we have to make sure that we get our security sorted out as well, one of these episodes. Alright, how about I wait till they, uh, till they sort this out and then I'll come back to you with what actually happens over here. Alrighty guys, just to finish this off, uh, we've got a couple of people um, finishing their little uh, missions over here so we can complete these guys. Uh, Joel and Connolly up to level 7, there we go. Excellent work, well done. 10 seconds, 35 seconds, 12 seconds. We'll wait for this guy to finish and then we'll just quickly check the other thing and then we can head on out for the episode. Boom, here we go. Ah, so Greg Matthews got to level 7. Excellent work. And this one's a success. They'll get XP from level 4. Fantastic. Um, so these two, they sell exquisite rolls, vegan feast, luxury dinner, and fine soup. Now I wonder whether they've been unlocked over here. Is it this thing? No. Is it this thing? Yes. Fine soup. We need seeds, oils, algae, and water. And for the vegan feast, algae, fruit, seeds, water. So we need algae, 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 nitrogen. So that might even have nitrogen off the page here. Um, yeah, so we need algae and we need nitrogen. And I need to work out how I can actually get algae and nitrogen. So it needs fibers for that one. And we're not... Look, we're getting there. So this needs fibers and nitrogen. That needs fibers as well. So maybe. So there's none here. Maybe, just maybe, when we click click over to level 11 to 15, that's when we're going to find some of the other stuff. Hmm. Well, looks like we've got some stuff to do. Thank you very very much for watching. Well, these guys are still not making making my corridor oh it's because I didn't do it far enough that's why making my corridor back here uh, thank you very very much for watching I hope, you, I hope you're enjoying the spatials my quality quintets they are multiplying they are growing we've got lots of resources coming through we've got uh, things happening but I need some more quality quintets five more episodes will release another one so please let me know Tell me in the comments, who is your quality quintet? Who do you like? Who is your favourite? Looking forward to hearing from you all. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you later, alligators.